Howdy again from Long Haul. This is uh, March 27th, Wednesday. It's really, really bright out here. I have to keep my eyes half shut. Uh, anyway, it's been like a year or so since I did any sort of actual tour, so a lot of stuff has changed. Uh, as you can see, well, I don't know if much has changed there with the, the house, but uh, well, oh, let's go inside the house first. Okay, this will be, yeah. So inside the house, so yeah, well we have a freezer and a, a refrigerator now on our porch. Well, the refrigerator's not plugged in, but anyway, the freezer is. And I don't know, we have the crap out here. We used to have wood, but I put this plastic up and tried to enclose the place for you know snow and stuff and everything. Um, yeah. Anyway, we have solar panels now. That's how we run that stuff inside. Hmm. Let it get into focus. Uh, I made a baby gate thing around the stove there's the stove I think this is mostly the same oh yeah except for I built these really cool shelves for like our kitchen now our kitchen's way better than it was and I think everything else is more or less the same I put some you know baby proofing stuff like that and oh there's Tori she's taking a nap hey how you doing Tori Good. Tori lives here now too so that's another that's a big change Genevieve's um, asleep too, you know? oh yeah and and Genevieve's asleep up there but that's okay I can you know Whatever, she can't, she's not going to wake up. Um, oh yeah, I built a hanging pot rack thingy. Uh, I don't know, everything else is pretty much the same in here, so let's go back outside. Bye-bye. Yeah. yeah, Tori kind of sort of moved up here in the fall, and Tori's my sister, uh, for anyone who doesn't know that. And uh, she's staying in this trailer. Well, actually, she's not, oh geez, it's all blurry again, what the heck. Well, anyway, we'll go over here and see this thing. See if it can't get blurry unblurry uh i don't know what's going on with this oh there we go okay so this is the storage structure thingy uh built uh milled up, up all this lumber with a chainsaw mill and it's like sort of post and beam construction with uh cedar posts and stuff that i uh cut off the land here and see these these markers there's like one two three the fourth one fell down it's buried in the snow anyway that's where the other posts are going to go so actually you can imagine it's going to be twice as big and it's not going to uh have a tarp on it that's just that's the middle anyway that's why this this wall isn't complete we'll go inside here and oh my gosh there's a you can't really see it but there's a ton of crap in here god what did we what did we ever do without this storage space i don't even know that's why i have to build it twice as big because we've already pretty much filled it up with all our crap, you know. You gotta have a lot of crap around for doing this, trying to do this sort of thing, you know, home brewing supplies, generators, uh, I don't know, canning jars, uh, baby stuff, and extra clothes, and bike trailers, and bikes, and wood stoves, and blankets, and skateboards, you know, all the important stuff. Then, uh, okay, out here, I think, well, things are, well, let's see, um, this, uh, there's the snowmobile. I've been uh, using it a lot this winter to gather firewood. And actually, we've hooked up the dog sled to the snowmobile, and that's really fun for people to ride on the back of it. Um, you know, it's better than riding somebody on the back of the seat because you have more control. And Anyway, down there is the... We'll go down there in a second. But um, right here is the, uh, the tool kitchen, that's what I call this. And there's our solar panels up there. And there's the power cord running to Tori's trailer, which is behind the goat cabin, which I'll show you in a minute, too. But um, anyway, there's the uh, the tool kitchen, which is not quite finished. It's also uh, boards from that I milled with a chainsaw mill and spruce boards from trees that I cut from over there. And uh, so there's the solar panels. It's like 250 watts each. Uh, we get a lot of power. It's enough to, uh, you know, we can actually weld uh, off of our uh, system if we have enough, you know, power in our batteries. And so, I, yeah, I didn't finish this side yet. It's just canvas right now. I'm going to put two big opening doors there. The tool kitchen is kind of like the uh, workshop. And it was kind of supposed to be like the community kitchen too. But it's more just like kind of like my workshop right now. But I don't know. We'll see. Anyway, we'll go inside here. Yeah, we got these doors for free and these windows for free from some people in town. Um, and, yeah, we got like some, I don't know, you know, nails and whatever hides and stuff laying in... Uh, it's like a, you know, a bunch of crap, but it's all kind of organized. It just looks really messy. I, I know where most stuff is, um, but you know, we're still we're still working on it. We've got some hides up there, and, 
you know, hanging from the rafters. I installed the stove. I didn't actually use it at all this winter. Uh, but yeah, and I got like insulation up in the roof, but none of the insulation, you know, as you can see the light coming through there, there's like, I mean, there's these big holes in the windows and stuff and there's no insulation on the walls. It's just the, uh, rough siding sort of stuff. But anyway, I'm probably moving this camera way too fast. Nobody even knows what's going on. Uh, so yeah, there's the workbench that, uh, has, uh, yeah, anyway, okay, well, that's enough of that. Oh yeah, there's our, that's the inverter, and the, um, that's like the really important part of the solar system. And then this is the battery box, which I built, which is like, uh, you know, it's got like a bunch of, uh, golf cart batteries in there, like eight of them to be exact, and they're six volts each, and that makes a 48 volt system. And, um, maybe I'll show you that some other time but it's like an insulated box they're supposed to stay room temperature so I cut a hole in the wall and I built this box on the outside so that you know it just I don't know we don't have very much room in our cabin so it seemed like the smart thing to do oh there's the chainsaw mill this is actually a new mill that I got um, from a guy I milled most of the other stuff with this other chainsaw mill that I had that was cheaper and not as nice and so I wanted to upgrade so I got that one because I've been doing a lot of milling actually I really just want to upgrade to uh, oh yeah you can see the cedar posts there see this is all framed out with the cedar cedar posts and uh, logs and stuff um, anyway ah, I forgot what I was saying so yeah then we have the the garden we cleared a little bit more behind the garden I don't know if you can tell uh, or not uh, we cleared a lot of ground here actually we have like an actual turnaround now oh yeah I don't even think the goat cabin was here last time so I'll, I'll go over and see that real quick so there's the goat cabin, and it's just a uh, dovetail round log uh, log cabin that I built in like three weeks last spring. There's some YouTube videos on that if you want more details about that. Um, that was uh, we had goats. We don't have them right now. We got rid of them. They were, you know, they're gonna eat weight like way too much hay. Uh, where should we go now? Uh, let's go this way first. Okay. So, uh, yeah, anyway, we, we slaughtered all the male goats and we sold the female goats because, uh, you know, it was just kind of, uh, we were thinking about bringing hay up here this winter and it just seemed a little hectic. So here's our trailer that we call Tori's Apartment. Tori made these really cool signs everywhere, Tori's Apartment. Um, so Tori kind of has been living in there, but she's also kind of been living in Lutzen where she works. Um, but we got this off Craigslist for $800. It's pretty awesome. Uh, I installed the sto wood stove in it. It's probably really messy in there right now, so I'm not going to go in there right now. Maybe I'll do that on another video. This is a giant pile of wood because we felled a bunch of trees that were actually on the last video of like last year. I mean, this was all just trees here, all over in here. And uh, you can kind of see some of the stumps there in the goat yard. And then there's a couple stumps there that that log is sitting on. And I don't know how well you can actually see this stuff. But anyway, that's Tori's apartment. That's the chicken coop storage shelter that the same people who gave us the windows gave us that when we went into town and then uh there's the there's the old toyota uh truck thingy oh here's my plow that i made there's some videos about this but you know it worked really well until there was about two feet of snow then it didn't work so well so i don't know more explanation in some of the other videos um then uh okay yeah we got chains on both these tires and we have been making it up and down the road all winter amazingly but uh, i don't need to talk about that right now that's uh we're just doing the tour so yeah, and then here's uh, Christina's tent. I don't know if I'm gonna I'm walking on the snowmobile track here. We're actually I'm walking on top of like two feet of snow uh, everywhere. But so you know, it's oh like like there. You know, you fall onto your knees sometimes. Um, but usually you can get away with walking on top of the snowmobile track. So here's Christina's tent, and uh, she was here for a good chunk of just most of December. Um, but anyway, that's what that is. And then there's the, I don't even think we had that last year. Oh yeah, there's the, uh, you can't really see it, but that's actually right behind the truck. There's like the community hangout, the fire pit, bonfire spot where we've had a couple parties and, you know, it's, uh, you know, we like to have fun around here. So, um, and there's our new, oh yeah, we'll walk over here real quick. No, that's kind of boring. Let's go over here. That's more exciting. Okay. There's this uh, pop-up camper that we haven't even tested out yet. Somebody gave us for free. And uh, here's uh, here's our friends. Uh, I'm making a video, you guys. If you, I, you know, 
Here's our friends, uh, Josiah and Christy. They're putting up their shelter uh, right now. And yeah, there's like, I don't know, uh, all kinds of stuff. <laughs> Hi, everybody. How's it going? <laughs> uh, yeah, so this is pretty impressive. Cool stuff going on here. Anyway, I don't know if you guys want to say anything for video, but, uh, <laughs> hi. Can I walk through? Yeah, go for it. Ooh, look at that. It's really nice and bright in here. A... Yeah, so. So anyway. Yeah, that's their shelter. And, um, yeah, you get a pretty good picture of it there. Anyway. So then we'll go over here, which is kind of not quite as exciting, but uh, Josiah and Christy just, just got here uh, a couple of weeks ago from Alaska. They, so they did all that in like the last like week and a half or something. Um, but yeah, it's pretty exciting. They're just getting the, the uh, tarp over it and then the canvas on. And yeah, this is our, so we did a bunch of clearing in here. This used to just be like tons of hazel brush. We're actually going to cut down all these little trees here too eventually because we need you know more uh well there's the sun as you can see so uh we need that's south so we need to grow some vegetables and food here and where a garden is going to be and there's a swing that tori made that uh well it's it's not really finished it, we need to make some improvements on it but uh yeah then uh okay so here's where we're going to build our cabin eventually oh geez fill in the snow okay so eventually we're gonna have our cabin right there. Like I said, we cut a few, we did cut a few maple trees in here, but so we've got like sort of a view down to the southwest there, and which makes it easier to, you know, have sun and grow vegetables and stuff. So uh, yeah, anyway. And there's another giant pile of wood from all the trees that we cut from doing all this clearing and whatnot. And uh, yeah, follow the snowmobile track. And actually we'll go this way. See if we can go through here and not fall. Here's another potential. Pro yeah, here's another gardening spot that we're gonna be. You know. So this is like I said. This is like all a bunch of hazel brush that we cleared out this year. Um, hmm, let's see what's over here. Oh yeah, going past Christina's tent again. Um, oh yeah, we'll go down to sugar bush. That was the spot where. Um, well, anyway. Yeah. So Jos Josiah and Christy have been staying in the the uh, trailer. Oh wait, I gotta go this way. Um, I've been staying in Tori's Tori's apartment, uh, otherwise known as the trailer, while they get their their shelter up. But yeah, this is a lot longer than the other tour because the other tour I just you know we I don't know, we did a lot of stuff last year and. Just have a lot of projects going on, so yeah. Okay, here we are, back at the house, back at the yeah. Oh yeah, almost forgot. The easy way to get down to Sugarbush. The easy way to get down to the Sugarbush is a sled. The easy and fun way. are all sugar maples in here so I started tapping there's one there's one uh, tapped like 10 trees last, yesterday I'm gonna tap like 20 or 30 more today and down here woo -hoo, woo -hoo, woo -hoo. Whoa, whoa, whoa. okay okay that's enough that. Um, so here's where the, see, it's easier to have it, you know, we have the, uh, okay, sorry, easier to have your boiler downhill so then you can sled all the sap down the hill, like I just sled it down the hill, so, so yeah, most of, that's kind of the edge of our maples right there, you can see, so, so we're at almost the bottom of the hill, but kind of central as far as the trees go, there's like a bunch of maple trees on that side, a bunch of maple trees over there, uh, so yeah, there's our giant pile of 
Sugarbush firewood, um, and yeah, I've been getting firewood a lot lately. And then here's the uh, boiler setup that I made. Oh crap, I forgot the, well anyway. Um, so I cut out these barrels with uh, an angle grinder and um, solar panels are so awesome. Anyway, electricity's great. Lived without it for a long time. Um, and uh, anyway, cut out these barrels and we have steam table pans which are like those stainless steel pans that you see at buffets they're like six inches deep and like 12 by 20 inches wide so they fit perfectly in here well not perfectly but as good as I could get it with the angle grinder and then we got the stove pipe going out there and I, I just originally I was just gonna build an evaporator out of cinder blocks and then I was like well I got these barrels laying around we got these barrels for five bucks each at uh, this place in town that sells coconut oil. They get coconut oil delivered from Southeast Asia in these things. So uh, yeah, and then there's another barrel from them. That's a plastic barrel. They also get agave nectar delivered in that kind of thing. Um, yeah, so that's the that's the setup for sugaring some more firewood. Another sled. Um, oh yeah, one more thing. Right. Well, Damien's not here right now, but I don't know. I, I could probably go over to his teepee and I don't think he'll care really. Maybe I'll even do a little uh, short video of him later. Um, but yeah, so right down this path, and actually this is, this, this is, there's another path, we'll take another way back, but this is kind of like the road that I'm starting to make, and uh, the, the re reason I started making this road was for that all that siding on that, uh, uh, the tool kitchen. I just cut down one big giant, uh, spruce tree white spruce tree back here and that gave me like all the siding and then some for the tool kitchen um i still got a couple logs that i gotta mill up but that's the stump right there that little mound so there's this open area here now and it gives me room to like turn around with the snowmobile anyway i'm going to continue this road so this is kind of i drove in here to get the log uh with the truck last uh fall and yeah, I was like, well, I should make a road here that goes deeper into the land because, like, we have 60 acres and it's like, you know, keeps going way back that way. So this is kind of the beginnings of a road. It's going to continue that way. I started cutting a rough trail through there that is going to be the road. Oh, yeah, we got to go up this way. Yeah, well, we could go around that other way. but um, So that's Damien's firewood pile. He went out and helped me uh, get a bunch of wood. Well, we helped each other get a bunch of wood. I took the snowmobile out and he... He took the, uh, um, um, he just snowshoed around and cut wood, and I picked it up with the snowmobile and the sled, and so we split the wood. Half it went to Sugarbush, and half it went to him for his uh, teepee here, and here's his teepee, and it's a firewood area, teepee, yeah, and actually we're almost right back at, at uh, that was not the original trail, that was just kind of a you know, we realized that, oh, that road thing that I was making is right down from there, so. And there's the loop trail, the, uh, that's the, uh, eastern loop is what we call this, and then there's the western loop is over there, and it goes, like, all the way around the property and comes back. It's like a mile-long trail through the woods. It's really nice. Um, kind of, kind of follows the, well, not exactly the edge. It follows the contours more than the edge, but it's, uh, yeah, so right through there is where, Everybody's where uh, Josiah and Christy and Amelia are working on the shelter over there. And um, there's the there's the sugar sugar bush where we just came from. We just like walked over there. And going back this way to main camp. This is a really long video. I'll probably have to edit this a bunch. It's kind of I don't know, I'm sure it's getting really boring by now. But, oh yeah, okay. Here we are, back at the, uh, yeah, there's, uh, I don't know how you can see everything. Anyway, it's a wonderful day, so I uh, better quit. I got all these trees to tap, you know? Like, and we're, we're, gonna, we're gonna try to tap like, I don't know, somewhere between 100 and 200 trees. We have like 200, and 30 taps or something like that. I don't know how many buckets we have. We're probably going to be pretty limited by the amount of buckets and pails that we have. But 
Um, yeah, that's about it for now, I guess. I better get to tapping or something. Okay, uh, bye.